right, hopefully this should be a quick one. I ain't never took one of these apart before. Had one of these as a kid, but had them for five, six years. Had a collection of about 50 games, but I ended up taking it somewhere to somebody's house. They ended up stealing it. So just bought one of these last week. Came in the mail. What I was finding out that when I put the power power cord in, it's like kind of janky back there, wiggly. <laughs> so the system would cut on and off. So when I looked online, they said that, well, in the inside, the soldering points for it will come unloose. All you had to do was uh, put some flux on it and re-solder it. I do have some flux, but I can't find it right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to switch up on the soldering points. I use magnified screwdrivers. I always come handy. You can't deal with any type of joysticks or electronics. I always get the, even cars, you get the magnified screwdriver. And if you think about buying one of these online, I would ask, ask the seller, hey, does this have any issues? And specifically bring up this shit, issue. And say, hey, does this, is the power contact, is it loose? You know, don't shoot on and off. I know most of the guys that sell these things professionally, they usually try to fix as much as they can on them. They buy them in bulk and fix them up. I think this person was just had damage for a little while. I just had to get rid of it. It probably wasn't focused on. You got some contact cleaner. This one. I'm pretty sure this metal frame has to come out. They separate the screws. Turn screws is different. I've taken apart several PS3s and Xbox 360. Those are those are a pain compared to this one. This one I'm just recording on the fly because I know there's not that many moving parts when you load it, so you can screws and get everything out. Lift the screw up a little bit, get it out. I think what's happening is this frame is catching onto the screws after I get them off the board. It's gonna hurt anything, just lifting it up. You want me to go back to the room?
two more. I was getting these systems. I really, I didn't think that I would buy another one. I felt like I got all my enjoyment out of it. But what I'm doing is buying older, older consoles, letting my kids enjoy it because not that it's hard to find kids' games. Nintendo does a really good job of making you know kids' games and stuff like that, like teens and teenagers. But I feel like these games, these systems provide a different experience. You know, the like original Sonic, the earlier Zelda series, they, you know, they just don't make games like that anymore. Plus, it's always good to have kids play the original things or they go along and play the newer stuff. It's the type of sense of history story and stuff like that, especially with Zelda. All right. The casual for the Sega CD. Still playing, probably never use it. I think I looked at one or two videos of people tearing and taking these down. Oh, I'm going to pump it there now. No, I just put that back. Usually there's some type of security screw. It's kind of hollow right here. So maybe there's a security screw right there. Ah, it's got the model number and stuff on there. They don't want to play it.
And there is no security screw on the back of that. Right? The thing I think of is maybe what is that? Hard to slide up. Nothing wrong with getting stuck in, especially if it's your first time taking stuff apart. Like I said, I looked at a few tutorials like a few days ago, a little while ago. But I don't like to look at stuff like step by step. I like to figure some things out on my own. Especially like that PlayStation 3. That was a pain taking it apart. Having to try to reball the um, GPU and GPU and stuff like that. But. It's always easier just to buy another item, but I never try to fix stuff. I fix it myself. I don't have to take too many shortcuts. Alright, so that was it, you know. So I had to take that off. I'm right here where my hand's at. See, I'm gonna wiggle that. These soldering points are just shot. I can feel it. It's cracked up real bad. So I'm just going to touch it up. I'm not going to take all the solder off or anything like that. Three contact points on this board for the power. That'd be it for this. Let that cool down. I do not feel any more wiggling out of it. Put all these back together. And then test it out a little bit later on. Should work. I don't think this video has been long enough. I got a Nintendo original NES to turn 10 to. I'm going to make a video about that too. So thanks for checking it out.